I never thought of myself as a photographer. I never liked photography very well. Um, I never felt any allegiance to its so-called history. And to this day, I don't really believe that it has a history. I made photographs because photography was the simplest, most direct way of recording something. I worked in photography because it was the most conventional. It was a form of visual notation that has, of course, since been uh, supplanted by, by other things, by video, whatever. But uh, at that time, it was probably the most simple and in a certain way unpretentious way to work. Anyone can take pictures. What's difficult is thinking about them, organizing them, trying to use them, montage them in some way so that some, some, some meaning can be constructed out of them. And that's really where the work begins. I was born and was living in the middle of one of the most rapidly urbanizing areas in the world. Southern California in the post-war period. Uh, you could watch the changes take place. I mean, it was, it was astonishing what, what had... And a new world was being born there, perhaps not a very pleasant world, but one that was, um, it was simply this new homogenized American environment that was marching across the land and being exported. And it seemed no one, no one wanted to confront this. It was invisible. And it was invisible in, in the sense it was simply material that people filtered out. People pretended not to see it. I was looking for the things that were most typical, uh, the things that are the most quotidian, everyday, unremarkable, and trying to represent them in a way that was the most quotidian and everyday and unremarkable. And I certainly wanted my work to look like anyone could do it. I didn't want to have a style. I wanted to look as mute and as distant uh, as a, to appear to be as objective as possible. Of course, it's not objective. I tried very hard in this work not to show my point of view. I tried to think of myself as, as an anthropologist from... Uh, from a different solar system. Someone coming and simply recording the events that transpired in front of their camera. What I was interested in more was the phenomena of the place. Not the thing itself, but the effect of it. The effect of this kind of urbanization, the effect of this kind of living, the effect of this kind of building. What kind, what kind of people would, uh, would come out of this? What kind, of, what kind of new world was being built here? Was it a world people could live in, really? 